Welcome back to Gyms. My name is Melissa Mitchell from here in Australia, Abundant Live Studio. Today I've been asked to react to Christian Lady has heated exchange with Dr. Zakia Naik uh, about Jesus in Qatar. Um, it, uh, the channel is Believing Beings. This video, my gosh, was uploaded three weeks ago. 3.2 million views. What? In three weeks. I'm going to watch this. Dr. Zakia is always uh, interesting. Although I am am an atheist, I enjoy listening to Dr. Zakia and his take on things. I think he's a very smart man. I think he's very, um, yeah, a student in what he's doing. Um, and, yeah, it's very interesting, very, very interesting. And also quite interested to hear what the Christian lady has to say because I'm not a Christian either, so I'm interested to see, see her take on it too. Uh, before we get started, make sure you hit that subscription button and, of course, the bell notification so that when Jim's next uploads, you get notified not to miss out on any of our uh, reaction videos. And, of course, uh, let us know at the end what you thought of this uh, video. And if you liked it, give us a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. And, of course, share Jim's with your friends and family. We would love more people to be watching us. So, Let's get started. Christian Lady has heated exchange with Dr. Zakia Naik about Jesus in Qatar, uh, Believing Beans, 3.23 million views in three weeks. So let's get this show on the road. So I'm going to push play and we'll get started. Here we go. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Click to subscribe Believing Beings. And press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Yes, sister, most welcome. Can I have your name and your profession and a question, sister? All right, so my name is Rose and I work for Qatar Airways. My question is, I've heard you talk about religion so much and I'll speak of the Bible because that's what I'm aware of. You say, you talk of Jesus as religious leader, but as far as I'm concerned, Jesus did not come to introduce any religion. Neither is he a religion, religious leader. What Jesus introduced in this world was the kingdom of God. The second question, maybe you can elaborate, uh, which religion is God? Because as far as I do research, I've come to understand that Jesus, who is my Lord and my Savior, he did not introduce any of those. He introduced the government of heaven. In other words, he wanted to colonize the world like, with heavenly power. There is a lot of controversies. The other question is... Sister, please pose one question at a time. I already posted two questions. After the answer, you can ask the next question. Okay. One question at a time. The sister has two questions, and I believe the sister is a Christian. She said that I said... Jesus was a religious leader. I never said that. I never ever said Jesus, peace be upon him, was a religious leader. I said he was a messenger of God. There's a world of a difference between messenger of God and religious leader. A messenger of God is far superior. We have many religious leaders in the world today. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of God. And you said in your question that he is your Lord and your Savior. First, let me tell you, sister. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was one of the mightiest messengers of Almighty God. We believe that he was the Messiah, which is translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Muslims and the Christians, we are going together. But one may ask, then where is the parting of faith? The parting of faith is that most of the Christians believe, including yourself, that we come to know from a question, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. And most of the Christians believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. Let me remind you, sister, I'm a student of comparative religion. I've read the Bible. There is not a single unequivocal statement 
in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. If sister, you can point out a single unequivocal statement from anywhere in the Bible, a single unambiguous statement from anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me, I, Zakir Naik, am ready to accept Christianity today. I have heard you sir, saying that. I am not times. speaking on behalf of the other Muslims. I am ready to put my head on the guillotine. There is not a single unequivocal statement. Hear my question clearly. Hear my challenge clearly, sister. There is not a single unambiguous statement. Not a single unequivocal yeah. statement. Wow. Where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. Yes, sister. I have an answer to that, sir. Yes, in the book of John, the Bible says that in the beginning was the Word, the Word was God, and the Word was with God. And the Word became flesh. What I want you to wait, know wait, is wait, that... Wait, 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 sister. That does not fulfill my challenge at all. You, you name the book, I will give you reference. You are quoting from Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 1. And the Word became flesh is verse number 11, 12, 13. You are quoting only the book. I'm giving you chapter number, verse number. I answer but, me. Wait, wait, the I'm, word became God. But what does that full, say? Sister, were these the words spoken by Jesus, peace be upon him? And the answer is no. What is my challenge? Not a single unequivocal statement. Not a single unambiguous statement. From anywhere in the Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says. Himself says means that should be in red letter. There is something called as red letter Bible. If you are a Christian, you may be aware of it. Red letter means Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself said. Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 1 to 13 is not in red. I'll answer it. Wait, wait, let her answer it. First of all, you have not fulfilled my challenge. It should be Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself says. These are not the words of Jesus. It is the word of a Jew by the name of Philo. Correct? It's the word of a Jew by the name of Philo. And John. never ever did he claim divinity for this. Yet, I will help you. What does it say? In the big, anyway, your quotation wasn't correct. I will give you the verbatim quotation. Gospel of John, chapter number one, verse number one says, In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. And later on it says the word became flesh. If you agree that the word is God, and if you change word is to God, in the beginning was word becomes in the beginning was God, and God was with God, do you mean to say there were two gods? No, because let, the word let of me God, complete. sir. Let me complete. You pose the question. You pose the question, I'm taking You don't allow home. people to give answers. You, are, you pose the question, I'm giving the answer. After I finish the answer, you can speak. You can't interrupt. Did I interrupt you when you were speaking? Did I interrupt? Yes or no? Now no. when I'm giving the answer, why are you interrupting? Let me finish the answer, then you can answer. Point number one, you didn't fulfill my challenge. It is not the word of Jesus. Your whole argument goes out. Yet I'm answering. You did not tell, you should say, sorry, Dr. Zakir, it is not the word of Jesus. Did you say that? No. You are not honest. Tell to the Tell to the audience, these are not the words of Jesus, peace be upon him. Am I right or no? You don't know. See, you are quoting and you don't know. I am a student of comparative religion. These words are not spoken by Jesus, peace be upon him. Yet I am answering. If you say the word is God and if you substitute words with God, it means in the beginning was the word becomes in the beginning was God. God was with God. Were there two gods? And the answer is no. I'll give you a third answer. If you read the original manuscript, the first time the word God is used, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. It is hothios. Hothios in Greek and Aramaic means the God. The second time the God is used, it is tonthios. Hothios means the God, almighty God. Tonthios means godly person. But unfortunately, in the translation, they are taking you for a ride. You go to the original manuscript of Gospel of John, chapter number one, verse number one. The first time the word God is used, it is hothios, meaning the God. Second time it is used, 
it's Tom Theos means a godly person. So it reads, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the God. And the word was a godly person, meaning a messenger of God. Sister, do you understand? No. This is called, you don't understand English. I'm you tell me what English, I said is wrong. I'm quoting your scholars. I am quoting your Bible. You pick up any Bible of red letter Bible. These words are not in that point number one. You go to the Greek and Arabic. Do you know Greek, sister? Do you know Greek and Aramaic? Was the Bible revealed in English? Was the Bible revealed in English, sister? Yeah, um, it was Greek. Greek and Aramaic. So the original word is Hothios. Do you know what is the meaning of Hothios? Go home and Google. Hothios, maybe I'm pulling a fast All right, one. Sir. All right, wait, wait, sir. wait, wait. wait. Hothios it... means the God. Tontheos means a God, godly person. That means even if I agree, it says Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of God. Do you believe in that? No. He's, Why don't... Bi he's bigger than messenger. He's not just a messenger. It's an sister, insult to call my Lord sister, a messenger. Sister, sister, I ask We you will what... do something to prove something, sir. But first say that what you quoted is wrong. You agree it is wrong, then we go to the next question. I don't agree. That means what you said is it's not word of Jesus. That means you're fooling the people, right or wrong? Did you... you... You thought I did not know, correct? No, I'm, I'm not here to demonstrate knowledge, sir. I'm it here to demonstrate... It is not the question of knowledge. It is the question of Bible. You believe Bible is the word of God, correct? Yes, I do. I don't believe it is the word of God. Even though you believe the Bible is the word of God, I know Bible more than you, right? There is one thing to know the Bible. There is another thing to have the revelation of the Bible. Because, you know, even when Jesus came, the people who did not understand who he was were religious leaders. They missed big time. Sister, they did not know who he was because sister, he was hidden. And the work of the New Testament. One place in the Bible where the un un unambiguous statement, unequivocal statement, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself, says, I am God, or where he says, Worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. Simple challenge. And you can't show one verse from this big Can volume I ask of you the Bible. Question, sir. Can you separate yourself from your word? Sorry? Can you separate Dr. Zaka and Nike from his word? Can you separate Dr. Can you separate Zaki? yourself from your word? But what difference does it make whether I can or whether I cannot? You see? You don't get it. Jesus is the word of God made flesh. But word religious of... mind is too big for five senses. Jesus is the word of God and himself he is God. The Bible every, says he gave him the name that is above every other name, every, which is the word of God. Every messenger gets the word of God. Moses was the word of God. Jesus was the word of God. Abraham was the word of God. Prophet Muhammad is the word of God. Question. So what is the problem? Which of every the messenger, messenger did what Jesus at time did? is the word of God. What is so different about Jesus, peace be upon him? You the cannot difference. point out a single statement from your Bible where Jesus said, I'm God, or where he says, worship me. I have, and now I you're have quoting... an answer for that, sir. Since the, the beginning of the word of, of the Bible, till the time of Jesus, tell me any of the messenger you call who was capable to cast out devils, to heal the sick. Why? Because in the beginning, it was only God who had power to deal with the devil from the fall of, the, from, of man in the Garden of Eden. But these sister, things were hidden for salvation sister, of men. If a person takes out devils from a person, does he become God? Today there are many people who do rukya yes, and they I take out devils. The they because don't become I've God. Been translated into the kingdom of God, dear son. Today, sister, there are many human beings, even in Qatar, you have who can do rukya and can take out devils from the human being. Because that does they, not make them God. Does it make get, them God? They got that power from Jesus. I cast out devils myself. Oh, in so the name of Jesus. Oh, so you also become God now? No, I, I have been translated because of my faith in Jesus. The I Bible agree says, with you. You, listen. you, Jesus Christ, peace be upon you. If you read the Bible, in the gospel, when he gives life to the dead Lazarus, he prays to Almighty God. Every miracle Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did, he did in the name of God. He didn't do on his own. If Same you would thing give the Bible me time, says. I will explain to all this congregation Sorry, what is all Sorry, we don't, have, we don't have the time. You can hire the hall mm -hmm. and tomorrow give a lecture. This is a question and the time. You did not answer time. me.
I wonder what happened after that. <laughs> I'm really intrigued. Oh, that was heated. Yeah, wow. They're both very passionate. Um, it's hard for me because I am an atheist. So I see the passion in both of them. I, I But I can't say who's right, who's wrong because... I have my own beliefs, but what I really like is the passion um, and whether it's right or wrong from the Christian lady, I think her passion is commendable. Like she is, she's fighting for what she believes in. And I think that's a great thing. I don't believe in what she believes in, but yeah, I think she's, I, I'm, I don't know necessarily whether she went the right way about it, but um, she's just as passionate as Dr. Zakia. So for me, as an atheist, to look at it, I have always seen Dr. Zakia's um, passion and I love that he knows so much and is so open about all religion. And I do find that with Christians that it's very one, it's very narrow. So that part I didn't like from the Christian lady because um, whereas Dr. Zakia will say, no, we believe this, we believe in Jesus and um I really like that about the Islam faith. As I said, I am an atheist, but I do like that. I, I really like that part about the Islam faith. I do tend to find, you know, Christian, Catholic, and a, a lot of religions, not all, not, not everyone, because I can't say everyone is like this, are very boxed in and it's one way and it's this and that. Whereas I think his point, Dr. Zach here, was, well, you know, we're, we're accepting Jesus and we're, we're believing in Jesus um, so that was very, it was very funny what he said about you are God now when she said she casts out devils. I had to laugh because he he made me laugh. That was a very good comeback. And it's true. Like, are you saying that you're God? I mean, she, it was a very, I don't know. I think if she was allowed to go on, she probably, she would have gone further and further and further. So I'm quite interested. Is there a video that has the next part? Because I don't think she would have stopped. <laughs> She was getting quite angry there at the end, but again, that is her passion. I'm not saying she delivered her message or her message is correct by any means, but she is passionate about what she does. And I think anyone who's passionate, whether it's Dr. Zakia, me being passionate about what I do or someone else, then, you know, that is the way of humans. We, we, we have what we have and we're passionate about it. So I really like this. And look, as I said, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a Muslim, but I, I really enjoy listening to Dr. Zakia. And I think he offers a really good insight into an all-rounded approach to the Islam faith. And I learn a lot from it. I don't know anything about the Bible. He knows so much about the Bible, more than this lady. So I think, uh, yeah, I think it was a really good video. Very interesting. I'm quite keen to see if there's any more to this video so that if there is, we can, I'd love to watch that. So, yeah. Double thumbs up for this one. Christian lady, so he, he did exchange with Dr. Zach here uh, about Jesus in Qatar. Believing beings, um, really good video. I can see why it's had so many views. Really entertaining and um, informative, very informative. So thank you for allowing me to see both sides of the argument. As someone who's not a Christian or not Muslim, it was really good for me to see both sides of the argument. And I like that Dr. Zakia will back it up with facts. Like he knows about the Bible. I don't know about the Bible. He knows about the Bible. And I think, wow, that's he's taken the time to understand other religions. And I think that's a really important thing. And I think more people need to be um, aware of that uh, to, to understand others' views. Uh, you know, I'm an atheist, but I understand that there's views. And, and my best friend is Muslim. I, I celebrate Eid with her. I, I enjoy the festivities. I enjoy celebrating. I enjoy what her culture and what her beliefs bring. So I think it's all about being open-minded and, um, you know, seeing things from different different views and taking a moment to really take that on board. So, yeah, good work, Believing Beings, really great work. If you like this video, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you thought of this video. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe and share gyms with your family and friends so more people can see our videos. My name is Melissa Mitchell from here in Australia. Abundant Life Studio. Until next time, you're watching gyms. See you then. Bye.